Alrighty guys, look, my name is Tommy and of course this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue and Griddle and on today's show we are going to take a look at a pizza oven and not just any pizza oven. I am talking about the 16 inch from Pizziola. So look, if this is your first time here at the Gallery BBQ and Griddle, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe the button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. So look, as I said, this pizza oven definitely does a whole lot more and you are gonna see some of that today. We are gonna do up some Hawaiian chicken barbecue skewers. You are not gonna wanna miss this. So look, let's turn our attention down to the board. Let me show you what I'm working with. Then we will pop on back to the pizziola and then we will get into cooking these kebabs. So look, as always, full ingredient list can be found under the show notes in the description. This is not that many ingredients. It's not that difficult. And I could tell you it is definitely bursting with those summer flavors. So look, after incorporating all that goodness together, we got some chicken breast bite-sized pieces, one inch by one inch. We also got some green bell peppers and some red onions. And you know the deal here, we will get our skewers. We will always start out with an onion and we will hand it off to some chicken, bell peppers, repeat the process. And that chicken was marinating in the refrigerator for about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. You can go a little bit longer for a little bit more flavor, but I find this method gives you tons of flavor. So look, I'm not gonna make them all on screen. I just wanted to give you the jest and we will take this in live. We will take a look at all three that I just made. Alrighty, so look, this is our kebabs here on the, uh, on the board. I am gonna go with three of them. I do have some pineapple rings in the house. I will get those separate on the, uh, on the grill and put some grill marks on them. I find that, the, uh, that there's just not enough room for everything, so I like to do them this way. And also remember all ingredients that we used for the uh, marinade and so forth is down in the description. Let's jump on over to the pizziella. We will get that fired up. We will take a little bit of a walk around and then we will start to cook. So simple to light. I will first start a coal bed down below. I will get some splits in, get that grill on. And we are talking a multifunctional design. Detachable oven makes the lower part perfect for fire pits and grill. You're gonna get an authentic flavor. You are gonna get wood burning, smoky flavor that we all love. It is gonna reach 752. Great pizza guaranteed. Perfect for that barbecue and pizzas. We are talking here that six 16 inch model currently on sale for under $140. Yeah, that's a bargain. Oh, hell yeah. All righty, so look, that is basically the, uh, the gist of this uh, 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 barbecue grill slash pizza oven. It definitely does a lot. And like I've said, I've had these on the, uh, on the channel a few times, but I've only had the, um, the 12 inch model. So I am definitely excited that I got my hands finally on this 16 inch model. Let's get our chicken on and we'll start getting that cooked up. So we will just dive into these kebabs on the grill maybe for about a minute or so. You wanna get your kebabs on, just be careful. You are working in close uh, proximity to some, uh, to some heat. We will let them run. Don't play with your food. Let it run for about a good solid three minutes. If you try to pull it up too early, you may get a little bit of sticking. So just let it run. Let that char start to form. Yeah. So that probably is about three, four minutes and we will uh, slowly start to uh, turn them over. Now I am using metal skewers, so I do have to be a little bit careful. And you could see we are starting to develop a little bit of color, a little bit of char. And that is right, Scotty from Scotty's Barbecue. I did say char. I'm not sure if Scotty is still hanging in on this one. And again, about another minute, another two minutes or so, just kind of move things around. You want to make sure everything gets evenly cooked. 
After about five, six minutes total, I will start reading a temp, and we are about 147. That is my chef temp. And 147 tells me we're close. So basically what I am gonna do at this point is get some of that marinade on. This is the marinade that we put aside. This is not the marinade that the chicken was sitting in. And always remember, if you put the marinade on too early, you're gonna face maybe possible burning or possible a little bit too much char because you are dealing with a lot of sugars in that marinade. So look, total cook time, probably seven, eight minutes or so. We are just getting ready to pull these off. But first, we got to hit a little bit of pineapple rings on. And now we will get our chicken skewers off. And you can see the color, man. We got some color. That is flavor. That is exactly what you want when you are open fire cooking. I mean, look at the color, man. That is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the Pizziella does it again, man. I just love this uh, pit. It's dual action pizzas, the barbecue in a matter of minutes. So there is my grilled pineapples. We will get those off. We will get all this up, plated up. We will bring this in live and we will do that taste test. I'll give you some thoughts and we will close out the show. What could I say other than can your pizza oven do that? And if it can't, maybe you want to uh, check down in the description and give this one a shot. I am telling you, man, this little 16-incher uh, can do it all. And look, I can go ahead and make a pizza right now, right after doing this little uh, little barbecue dish here. All I got to do is pick up that top, put it on, get the pizza stone in, and I am good to go. To me, that is the... Uh, that is the best of both worlds for sure. And this is our dish right here. And I'll tell you, it went off pretty much without a hitch. Of course, you gotta be careful because we're dealing with chicken. So we checked it with our chef temp and we are good to go. Otherwise, if we were growing up some steak, maybe some corn, we would just throw it on and cook at the temperature, medium rare, 120, who cares? That's the way I like it. Other than that, that is that. Let's go in for that quick taste test. Guys, so I could tell you right off the bat, man, you get the, uh, you know, you've got the Hawaiian work and you've got, you, you, you get the pineapple, you get all that sweetness that I put in that marinade and she only sat in there for about an hour or so and it is all in there. So look, I'll have all ingredients down in the, uh, in the description of the marinade and so forth. So you can go ahead and make this dish. And I'm telling you, man, this is a, uh, I mean, come on, don't we at times get tired of cooking, you know, steaks and chops and this, that, and the other. This is a little bit of a recipe that's very easy to do. Throw this over some coconut rice or maybe some pineapple rice and you are good to go. There is no doubt about it. Guys, so that is gonna close out this show. Again, my name is Tommy. That is Molly right here. That is a Hawaiian style chicken kebabs right there. That is the pizziola oven right there behind me. Again, all information on that beast is down below. And that is it. I appreciate you all for watching. I appreciate my Patreon members and also my YouTube join members. I got information on all that jazz down below. And until next time, we will see you soon.